All right, I'm with Alyssa with the Bristol Motor Speedway, and we're pulling in for media day. Yep, there still she is. still looks like Bristol to me. Looks good. Follow along today. We're gonna have a good time. Not me, silly. The great Rusty Wallace. He's my brother, you know. <laughs> We're at Bristol, baby! What's going on? There's a grader and a dump truck coming out of the Bristol Motor Speedway. Last time I won here was, I won a race here in 1994. Let's go inside. Let's go right in there and see why there's a grader and dump truck dump truck coming out of the Bristol Motor Speedway. <laughs> All right. It's Bristol, baby. 150, 55,000 people. Here's the tunnel. If you want to walk in there, if you want to walk into the racetrack while the race is going on, that's the tunnel. Let's check it out and see why the grader and the dump truck are here. Man, I remember a lot of driver introductions happening right in this area. There it is. That, that damn, th I've, been, I've been up in that. That thing is huge. Uh-oh, dump truck. Get out of the way, Herman. I believe he's gonna have to grab another deer. Oh, he's gonna have to get another run at it. Look at that. Look at that red clay. Boy, that's some rare stuff right there. This track is so damn fast, it's unbelievable. They working already, looks good. So, for all the years that I raced here, you know, I would tell my friends, this is one of the fast, this is the fastest half mile high bank track in the world. It is not, Wallace. So I said, okay. So they come here every time I would, oh, look at this guy, hold on. He had to grab another gear. I love it. There he goes. Those are the larger dump trucks. Okay, so this racetrack is so fast that when you go on it for the first time, it takes your breath away and you cannot breathe. Usually by the second practice session, you're ready to go. You gotta re-tighten the seat belts. They still working. All right then. Look here, you can see it, it's sunny today. Hello, Herman. Hello, Wall. <laughs> So Packer cars are everything. These are old police cars, right? The Coca, -Cola. now little birdie tells me that the Tide car might look a little rough, but it's fast. They say, they say it's a little loose, but you know, they say loose is fast. <laughs> so here we are in the infield. We're gonna give rides to the media with the uh, Packer cars. They're fast, like I said, they're police cars, old police cars. And uh, there's the Colossus. And then we got them. The Bristol team is here. There they all are. We're going to have a great day. And I still can't get over all the... Uh, usually when I'm down here, it's intense. You know, I got this smile all the time. But usually when it's a NASCAR race, I'm like this. How, where's that got us? That's 10th on the board. Let me have another try. Come back in. <laughs> You're second. Hush. All right. Okay, so I love the information you're giving me. Yeah. Okay, so our main grader guy, it looks like he has a GPS. He does. Okay. Oh, okay, so he's, he's the main grader guy. Now this isn't Christmas, but tell me his nickname. Scrappy. 
Scrappy. Yeah, it's scrappy, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah. and, and it's, then what it's else? It's almost like the Seven Doors. We got a dump truck driver named Stumpy. Stumpy. Yeah. Scrappy Stumpy. And then we got the other main grade guy that's running the dozer most of the time is Junior. He's on the front loader right now. Junior's on. Hey, hold on. We know once you get past the Mason Dixon line, everybody's got what's that name again? Junior. Junior. Everybody got a junior. <laughs> hey, do we have a Bubba? We don't have a Bubba. No Bubba. We have a Bubba in Atlanta. Uh, we so do. That's close. So we got a Bubba. We, Atlanta, so yes. at the SMI owns Bristol, Charlotte, Atlanta. So at the Atlanta Motor Speedway, we do have we a have Bubba. A Bubba. Hey Bubba, <laughs> love you. All right, so Scrappy Stumpy. Bubba's in Atlanta. Junior's on the front loader. Junior's on the front loader. Yep, <laughs> I love yep. this. You guys, it's like the seven doors. Yeah, the seven <laughs> doors. And I'll tell you what, you got one, two, three, four, five. That's something that's pretty cool about, you know, most dirt tracks, small dirt tracks you ran out, right? Yeah. You don't have the luxury of all no. this great equipment. <laughs> I was just going to say, now I know why this dirt track is so smooth. Well, Marcus, you know, Marcus expects the best, right? No expectations, exceed expectations. That's uh, Jeff Bird said that years ago, and we all still live by that. So naturally, we, we make sure we've got the equipment to make sure we can exceed expectations. On Marcus track. Smith, Marcus owns, is the president of SMI? He's the chief, yes. Chief. The big, big shot. How many SMI tracks do we have? Speedway have Motorsport now. 12. Yeah. Speedway yeah. Motorsports Incorporated. I think it's almost half the NASCAR tracks. All right, 1360, we'll let you go. Hold on. Here we go. Go, go with me. Oh, gotcha. Let's dance. <laughs> Daryl Waltz. That's something like Daryl Walter would say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Packer cars. <laughs> All right. Eat up Packer cars. <laughs> okay, Brother Rusty was so good here, they put him next to Earnhardt. Rusty won a lot of races here. So do you know, a lot of people don't know this. Do you know my nickname for my brother that I love so much? It's God. Calm down, it's a joke. And here, here's the reason I nicknamed him God. Because um, when Rusty comes around, everybody straightens up. Because he tolerates no bullshit. <laughs> All right, we're having a good time at Bristol. Wallace into turn three, here are the high banks. Track's a little wet early in the going. Here at the Bristol Motor Speedway, Wallace a little loose off at turn four and down the front straightaway, just two laps to go. Kenny Wallace continues the lead here at the Bristol Dirt Race, only in my mind. Now Wallace decides to take the Kyle Larson group high on the track. Wallace up against the wall looking for some grip. Here he comes. Kenny Wallace, one lap to go. Down the back straight away. Wallace ever so lightly into turn three, looking at his competitors in the rear view mirror. This is a slippery corner. Wallace climbs the banking. Woo, he gets loose. The checkered flag is in the air. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenny Wallace has lost his mind. <laughs> All right, we're giving media rights. On the high side, Wallace on the high side. As old Larry Mack say. <laughs> <laughs>